Okay. Uh, welcome to Stand Up After Dark. How's everyone feeling tonight? Make some noise. Be louder than that. Come on. Crazy, okay? Now people are talking. Um, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for being here tonight. We have an amazing lineup. I'm so excited for you guys. Uh, we're so grateful that you came. We know you're missing Saturday Night Live right now. Uh, hosted by Louis C.K. featuring musical guest The Chainsmokers. Woo! So you'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. Uh, I don't know if some of you remember, but last year, John Stewart actually came to our campus. And one of our friends asked him, he asked him in this Q&A, he was like, what do you think about the rumors surrounding Louis C.K., that he allegedly traps female comedians in his, in his hotel rooms and makes them watch him masturbate? And John Stewart obviously was like, Louis my friend, like I've never heard of these rumors, like, I don't know what you're talking about. But I just want to chime in and say that Louis C.K. has forced me to watch him masturbate <laughs> Because I watched Horace and Pete, okay? <laughs> Every episode of it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Peter Moeller. Uh, I'm six foot four. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a paltry 110 pounds. <laughs> Why did you guys laugh? Uh, I went to the University of Chicago, where I majored in student debt. <laughs> um, after I graduated with a degree in economics. I decided to instead uh, pursue a BFA. A big fat ass. <laughs> Guys, I'm serious, I gained like 40 pounds since I graduated. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> Let's hear for Chicago tonight. <laughs> I love going to school here. Um, yesterday I found out that Chicago actually has more rats than New York City. This is true. And this makes a lot of sense to me because I'm friends with about half of them. <laughs> I love Chicago, but I'm not a great Chicagoan. But like, even if, I think it was last year that I realized what the Chicago flag was, and like, it was like two weeks ago that I realized the Sears Tower and the Hancock Tower are two different towers. <laughs> and this is funny because I always thought of that like one tower in my mind as like Chicago's big black dick. And now, in my head, Chicago has two big platforms, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm the host of the show tonight. I'm so excited. We have some amazing comedians. But before the show begins, I'd like everyone to check under their seats, okay? Okay, does anyone see my keys? <laughs> Anybody? Keys? They're small, they're shaped like keys? <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, please everyone keep your eye out for a set of keys. They look like keys. There's a keychain on it, it says stupid bitch. <laughs> it's actually kind of sentimental to me because that keychain was a gift from my late grandmother. <laughs> She's not dead, she just told me she was gonna be here at 9.30. <laughs> I recently got to spend a lot of time with my grandmother because I went home and me and her don't have the best relationship. Like, when I came out, yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> when I came out to my family, uh, the response was pretty universal across the board. They were like, Peter, you can't be gay, you're gross. Like, you don't shower or like, clean your clothes or like, have a good sense of like, you know, masculine feminine hygiene. And I was like, I know, unfortunately, you can be gay and gross. <laughs> and they were like, that sucks. <laughs> um, this table gets it. <laughs> guys, get it. Guys, by the way, drinks flowing all night in the back, okay? Woo! Let's go to drink here tonight. If you laugh at a joke, take a drink. And if you don't laugh at a joke, also take a drink. Okay. <laughs> um, Okay, my grandmother had a stronger reaction though when I came out, and she actually wrote me this letter. And it was like, this is disgraceful, like I don't know why you would do this publicly, you better not bring a boyfriend to your sister's wedding. And I was like, you don't gotta worry about that, grandma. <laughs> no one to bring. <laughs> Big relief. But I swore to myself that day that I would have a boyfriend to bring to her funeral. <laughs> And I will. 
I did recently start seeing someone. Thank you. Uh, her name is Emily. She's a registered psychotherapist. <laughs> she told me I had trouble with criticism, and I told her to go fuck herself. <laughs> she told me I was oversensitive, and I was like, why would you say that about me? <laughs> you know? Um, she told me I had trouble with boundaries, and I was like, is this because I followed your daughter on Instagram? Because I told you, I'll unfollow, Emily. <laughs> no response. <laughs> um, now, I did actually recently start seeing someone, or like hooking up with someone, in Philadelphia, and it was like a cute little thing, and we would like smoke weed together. None of you are cops, right? Any cops? Cops? Okay, good. Um, we would smoke weed together, and I thought it was a really cute idea if I would like take a hit and then like exhale it into his mouth, and then he would take the hit and then he would exhale it. Like I thought that would be the hottest thing in the world. <laughs> so then we do it, but like we fly a little too close to the sun, it's a little too long, and I just start coughing right into his mouth. And it's not like a cute dry cough, it's like. <clears throat> And he's just sitting there and he's like, thank you for that. Um, his roommates opened the door, like we were on the couch in the living room, it wasn't like they opened his bedroom door. Uh, they open the door and like this little dog comes into the apartment and it jumps on my lap. And like we had just been making out like pretty intensely and like I don't know if you guys have ever had like a small furry dog sit on your lap while you have an erection, but it makes you feel like a giant dog fucking freak. <laughs> so immediately I just throw the dog out of my lap, it hits the wall, like, why did you do that? He's like, sorry, I didn't want to molest your dog. He'll thank me in the long run. Okay, I'm going to shut up, but before I go, I just want to brag to everyone uh, that I did recently purchase a car, uh, a Honda CRV. I brag different. Um, and this is actually good for me, but bad for everyone else in Chicago, because it's allowed me to focus on my hobby, which is texting and driving. And guys, I don't just like respond to text while I'm driving, I'll like start a conversation. Like I'm cruising down Lake Shore, I'm like, thoughts on Syria? <laughs> and if they don't respond, I'll text someone else. Like, I have a compulsion to do it. It's a real problem. And I just want to say before I die, because I'm texting and driving, that I'm so glad you're all here tonight. We're going to have an amazing time. I'd like to bring out the first comedian, okay? So let's Put our hands together for Amy Sumter. She's going to be the boy.